draw of a crowd. We saw some local talent go ahead and get the bragging right. So next up is the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase. Good to see it back here on the running order for the Golden Spike. This event is back on the running order, really, after a four-year absence now. Good to see Conceslas kip Brutu here in the mix. 18 years of old, and just a rising start when he earned a comfortable victory on this track in 2013. Kenyan Kiprutu has the world lead of 8 minutes 4.63. The meeting record here way below that. The Kenyan in 2011, Kipsile Koech with 8.02.55. He will that javelin over the yellow line there, but again, he's well short of it. So a couple of pacemakers here designated with the task of setting a good time here for the rest of the field. Michael Samuel and Justice Largat of the Czech Republic and Kenya already have settled into first and second slots, dragging the field around. Shubaka just hanging on the coattails of the pacemakers as we speak. Just coming around the outside now. 809.25, a personal best for him. One of the best in the field, in fact. So 91.53 with his second throw, 91.02 with his third. What will his fourth throw bring up here for the German? Not quite as good by his standards, but. It's still better than the rest of the field so far today. It just shows you the level that he's been at so far with his first three throws. track on already there's some fractions here with regards to the chasing field you can uh, just play catch up here to the pacemakers I wonder when he'll make his move here Kevin just around the outside Kijin as well as Kibiwat this personal best that we've seen in the field so far well that is Kibiwat of Kenya eight minutes ten sixty two Barnabas Kip Jaeger, well, he's had enough on already now. He's looking to just place himself in the front as well. It is just 38 days and counting now before the World Championships in London this year inside the old Olympic Stadium. And these athletes will be there. So Samuel, one of the pacemakers, well, he's stepped aside now. His job is done. 
And he's just this log at now of Kenya. Just behind his fellow Kenyan here of Kipiego. Will it be a Kenyan 1-2? Perhaps not here for Largat, but still a plethora of Ethiopians and Kenyans still there looking to get the top prize. The pace is good rather than spectacular so far. And Tefessa Saboko now as well has just eased himself up into fifth position just ahead of Keegan here. No shenanigans whatsoever of any athletes clipping each other. See it so often in the steeplechase, but a clean race so far. Still dragging round the field here is Justice Larget, the pacemaker of Kenya. Look at his personal best. Still way and above some of the field here today, and that's quite interesting really when his job this evening is to set the pace. It's already over the halfway point and still the pace is again steady. Well the Kenyans in the Ethiopians now already, as you would have expected to see, just beginning to make this race their own. Absolutely dominated by it. Of those two countries here in this event, the exception to the rule were well, one German, Garu, a Czech Republic. Arjenik and as well as an Australian, Miskewin. So, as to where the first three positions are going to come, well, that is anyone's bet because it's just beginning to bunch up now at the 2000 meter mark. Diego, Keegan, Saboka, Kibiwat, all still in the shake-up here. There's Largat now, the last pacemaker has stepped aside. So, as we speak here, we're probably looking at three from this bunch of six. The question is, who will make the first move? So a couple of no throws with three and four here for the German. And this Vetter, very powerful thrower through the throw, but is it good enough? It is a good throw. No, they're not looking to be outdone here, away from home, the Germans. And Vetter. 89.68, and let's not forget, it's a personal as well as a season's best for him. Well, he's not far off that, that's his best throw by a country mile. After a couple of no throws, he's back in business with that one. So six has now become fire protagonist now, and there's the bell. One lap to go, and this is where you'd expect to see the top athletes just about make their move. And already we're seeing that now, and it looks like it's Keegan who's kicked things off here. So Benjamin Keegan of Kenya has opened up a nice gap here. Can he maintain it? Very smooth he's looking here. And he's going to take some catch in here. There he is, he's still got some kick left on the 200 metre bend. Very safely into the water, quick look over the shoulder there from Keegan, he's been hunted down here by Amare, but I think it's all going to be academic as to who the number one will be. <laughs> he just wobbled slightly in the end. The race for second and third is well and truly on, arms aloft, 
points the finger, salutes the crowd. 8-11-55. <laughs> what a finish it was there for second and third as well. Trauma at the end. Amare hurled himself over the line. And it's Keegan of Kenya again. He's proved to be the man to beat. Well, that is way, way, way the best that we've seen from him. He shaved seconds off his seasons as well as his personal best, Benjamin Keegan. And Wale there, as well as Amare. Well, that was a battle royale for second and third. Oh, there's confidence for you. Saluting the finishing line in the crowd way before he took it. Just a quick look over the shoulder for a check. He had metres to spare in the end. So, so far, so good with regard to the crowd getting entertainment here this evening.